the Hot Pink Diary. If you're new, I'm Giselle, and today we're doing our last back to school video of the season. Like, I literally can't even believe that's already September, and I'm totally mind blown because by the time we know it, it's going to be like December, and then it's gonna be 2018, and it's just gonna be crazy because then it's gonna be back to school season next year again. So, yes, that is how time works. What am I even saying? Anyways, for the last video of back to school, I thought I would bring something back that I haven't done in a really long time. So, if you're new or maybe you don't remember, it's a series called Hot Trends where I take inspiration from like today's like hot trends and take something from my closet that I don't wear or like super old not fashionable at all and I take that and DIY it into something that's more trendy with today's fashion and you guys really love them back when I used to do it so I think I'm gonna start bringing them back especially for fall because let's be real fall is the ultimate fashion season and I'm really excited for fall videos so today's video is gonna be a fashion upcycle and to make it more in the back to school theme it's going to be something from my closet that is not dress code friendly but I'm gonna make it into something that's a little more dress code friendly and trendy so yeah if you want to see that then just keep on watching okay so for today's upcycle I'm gonna show you guys how to trim this dress that's in my closet I've actually never worn it I think I showed it in like a haul like last year or something but I've never worn it because it just comes up way too short and it's not really flattering like in my stomach area the ruching on the side just makes it really short looking and the material is actually really thin and lightweight so it's not the most flattering on my body type so I thought I would upcycle this and turn it into something that goes with a modern trend and I've been seeing like these racer checkered prints everywhere like forever 21 Urban Outfitters, literally everywhere, even Target, like everyone. So I'm going to show you how I turn this into this crop top. This DIY is actually so simple and looks so much better and flattering on me than this dress did. I really love how this turned out, so let me just show you guys how I did it. So I took this dress and I wanted to make it into a crop top because the dress was really tight fitted like three inches above my belly button So I just folded it in half aligning all the seams and then cut it there all the way across And I knew where I wanted to cut it because I marked it when I had it on So if you're doing an upcycle like this I recommend doing that so you don't accidentally cut it too short Then I just pulled on the raw edges so it rolled inward and I love this technique because you don't have to sew a hem or anything like that And their edges just roll in super cleanly Next, I flattened my sleeve with making sure the seam is in the center at the bottom. It helps to make sure that you have flattened the top of the sleeve perfectly because I wanted to put the checkered pattern right on top of my arm and not like this on the side or anything. So this just helped to make sure that I did that. I got these heat transfer vinyl sheets from Amazon, but you can also get them as a roll at Michael's. I feel like heat transfer vinyl is so overlooked compared to like the regular transfer paper that people use for DIYs, but this method is just as easy because it's also iron-on. Anyways, I measured one inch lines vertically on the matte side of the vinyl, and then I turned it the other way to make one inch horizontal lines to create even boxes. It should look like this, and then I just cut them out, and I had a total of 24 boxes for each arm. So 24 plus 24 is 48, so a total of 48. 48 boxes. For the final step, I just mapped out my sleeve doing a few at a time because one at a time would be such a nightmare. This is definitely not meant to be a super long DIY, but if you don't trust yourself and want to be super precise, then definitely do one at a time. And all vinyl will have different instructions, but for my vinyl, I had to press down on the iron for about 30 seconds per section and make sure you do this on a super firm surface so it adheres to your fabric better. Finally, just let it cool completely because it will be super hot and then peel off the clear sheets on top of each square. This part may take like 10 minutes, but it's honestly so satisfying. Then I just did that to the other sleeve, and this is how mine turned out. Super simple, but also totally trendy, and I really only spent like $4 on the vinyl. And I think it's totally worth it because you save a lot of money for something that's like super trendy. And I hope you guys like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay until the very end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like fashion DIYs and upcycles, please let me know down in the comments. And if you haven't already and liked this video and want to see more, please do subscribe. I really love seeing our family grow. So yes, please do subscribe if you would like to. I think that's all for my outro. But before I go, I just want to remind you guys that I do add new products to my shop every single day. So check that out. There's always a discount code down below for you. You guys and remember like I always say in the ends of my videos there's so much negativity in the world so be sure to only spread positivity down in the comments and of course wherever you go and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys the good